Nadolik Plowen, Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates, happy holidays. And I know this time of year can be kind of weird because we've got some downtime and a time to take a breather and relax. So I'm going to share with you my favorite Christmas games to play that are either cute and cozy or kind of chaotic because this is the perfect time to get cozy, get comfy, relax on the sofa, relax by your computer and play some chaotic, cozy, cute games. The first game I'm going to talk about is a game called Cozy Grove. This is a life sim game about camping on a haunted, ever-changing island. As a spirit scout, you'll wander the island's forest each day, finding new hidden secrets and helping soothe the local ghosts. With a little time and a lot of crafting, you'll bring colour and joy back to the cosy grove. This is just like Animal Crossing in that it is synced to the real time world. So it has seasons and it runs real time. So when you play in winter, it becomes winter. So this is why I love Cozy Grove. So you can play over Christmas, and have this like winter snow season played and they also have seasonal content as well in cozy grove where you get to throw snowballs during winter and i just i love it so so much the only thing is you cannot time travel otherwise it'll kind of like break the game so don't do that also great because if you miss a season or miss a couple of days you won't get penalized for doing so it it doesn't matter if you miss these days. You can just come and go as you please and just wander through the cozy grove doing what you would like to do. Whether it's crafting, whether it's talking, whether it's fishing, you can do all these things or not do all these things. It is completely up to you. You can make it as cozy as you want to or make it as interesting as you want to. I love this game. And there is a reason why so many other people love this game too. This game is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on Epic Games, on Xbox, on PlayStation, and on Apple Arcade. The next game is called Santa Craft. A massive blizzard has struck the North Pole and wiped out Santa's village. His reindeer and sled are being held by the abdominal snowman. Dig your way through snow, cut down gingerbread trees and mine candy canes as you try to rescue your missing reindeer, rebuild Santa's village and save Christmas. So this game screams Christmas to me. You cut down gingerbread trees, mine chocolate rocks with your candy cane hammer, go fishing for saltwater taffy, craft and decorate Santa's village, teach puffins to sing, bake cookies, race turtles, build the train station, and so, so much more. And you are playing as Santa. This is a sandbox game. It's only about three hours long, so it's a short game, but it's so wholesome and so fun. And you play as Santa to save Christmas. So what's, what's more Christmassy than that? They also had a free update in 2021. This game is available on Steam and on itch.io. Next up, we have a game called Marvin's Mittens. This is a 2D platformer with a focus on exploration and collection. With gorgeous hand-drawn art, this is a soothing world to explore free from enemies and danger. You collect magic snowflakes to increase your jump height and race your sled across the landscape to reach new areas before your mother calls you back home. Learn the secrets of snow elf magic and traverse the world beyond Marvin's backyard to solve the mystery of the missing mitten. Immerse yourself in this charming indie title with an original soundtrack that includes over 35 tracks from the game along with bonus tracks you've never heard. This is a beautiful game that's not too hard and it's not particularly long, but it's so satisfying and really brings the nostalgia of playing in the snow as a child. It's also completely child friendly as well. 
So if you had siblings or children or nieces, nephews around for Christmas and wanted to play a game with them, this would be a great little game because there is no aggression, no death, no fear. It's such a great, sweet, little cozy and cute game. And this game is only available on Steam. The next game is called A Good Snowman Is Hard To Build. This is an adorable puzzle game about being a monster and making snowman. It's a game built for puzzle lovers and you'll play as a featureless and a lonely monster who builds snowmen and gives them all their own character traits and names and then hugs them. Your goal is to stack three snowballs with gradually decreasing size on top of each other to create snowmen. The snowballs come in three sizes and what makes this game truly special is that a snowball rolled through a tile filled with snow will increase by one size. If you don't have one of each size lined up properly when it's time to stack them, you'll probably have to start over. This is a short game, it can be finished in about two to three hours if you want, but there is a hardcore mode if you want to complete it as well after finishing the whole game, but people have said it is truly a hardcore mode. It's for people who absolutely love puzzles and want to complete them in a specific way. This game is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on ISO and on Android. Next up we have A Song of Nunu, A League of Legends Story. Join best friends Nunu and Willem on an adventure across the frozen wilds of Freljord. Dive headfirst into an immersive narrative, discover the unbreakable bond between the boy and his yeti, and travel a land both beautiful and treacherous, while making new allies on a journey of family, friendship, and magic. Every snowy step brings you closer to the truth about Nunu and Willem's past. This game is perfect because it is set in winter. You go through the fjords and explore all of the winter wonders. You go snowball fighting. You have a yeti as a friend. It is so cute. I love the storyline. It is so beautifully written and told. There are voice acted characters in it. It is so, so much fun to play. I have a first look video if you want to check that out. I'll leave that at the top of the screen for you. And this game is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on GOG.com and on Epic Games. And the next game is if you like absolute chaos. This is called Little Inferno. You throw your toys into the fire and play with them as they burn. Stay warm in there, it's getting cold outside. Burn flaming logs, screaming robots, credit cards, batteries, exploding fish, nuclear devices, and tiny galaxies. The adventure takes place almost entirely in the front of a fireplace about looking up out of a chimney and the cold world just out of the other side of the wall. With over 1 million copies sold, it is 100% indie with only three guys making it, with no publishers and no funding, and it also has over 7,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. It is a twisted humour game where you basically set toys on fire and watch them burn. It's great if you've had a really hard day and just want to be absolutely chaotic. It also has a holiday DLC called Ho Ho Holiday and this incorporates another 20 new toys into the mix with a new scary holiday story. This game is available on Steam, on Nintendo Switch, on iOS and on Android. And that is it. Those are all of the games that I think you should play over this Christmas and New Year's period. 
let me know in the comments down below what are you going to play this christmas i would love to know i need some new game recommendations so let me know in the comments what are you playing i need to know as always please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more cute and cozy games a big thank you to my channel members thank you so so much for supporting me over this festive period and beyond i couldn't do this without you so thank you so 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 much i hope you have an amazing rest of the day wherever you are an amazing holiday and i will see you all on the next one bye